In preparation for the 2018 FIFA World Cup, the city's central stadium will undergo major redevelopment. Like Moscow's Luzhniki Stadium, this project will see the combination of old and new, with the original stadium being reconstructed to form the new 35,000-seater Yekaterinburg Arena. First built in 1953, the stadium's new look will include a roof and a number of temporary stands while retaining its recognisable façade, a move designed to preserve the architectural legacy of the city's famous landmark. Overall, the history of the stadium encompasses over 110 years. So on this spot, there's always been an arena where sports events were held. Regarding construction, we will retain the original architecture of the structure and a neutral facade will be built on top of the historical part. A neutral facade that will accentuate the historical and architectural past of the building. Designed over a period of five years, the stadium is a central part of the development of the Ural's biggest city. And since construction started in July 2015, the surrounding area has seen considerable transformation. There's always been a dream to unite the old historical part of Yekaterinburg with the more contemporary areas of the city. The decision by the city to choose this particular stadium to host the World Cup matches is ideal because it will allow the stadium to become the new centre of a contemporary part of the city. It will help rejuvenate this area of Yekaterinburg. Such a large-scale event like the World Cup requires a substantial improvement in the infrastructure of the city. First of all, the development of a new transport system for safe and efficient travel of the fans, as well as restructuring the entire customer service system, developing hotels, catering and tourism in preparation for the matches. As the easternmost venue to host a match at the 2018 FIFA World Cup, the stadium will play an important role in the development of sport in the region. And with FC Ural set to move back in after the tournament, its legacy will continue well into the future. This is the final stage of new life and new impetus with this major development in the city. But more importantly, it's a chance for popularity to grow, not just for football, but for sports in general in Yekaterinburg and the entire region of the Urals. It's history, it's transformation, it's the future.